Okay, see a little brass one. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm recording. Oh. <laughs> so I have brass pickle and copper pickle, and you don't want to mix it too because the copper contaminates the brass and then leaves copper residue on the brass. And it doesn't take much to get this, the oxidation off of it. Rinse it. It's vinegar and hydrogen peroxide. A little bit of salt. Still a little bit of a pink fire scale. That's copper coming out of the brass when you heat it too much. Or when you heat it a lot, not too much. And it stinks. So now I am going to take this over to the buffing wheel and polish it up. When you polish, the metal gets really hot. And I have a wheel dedicated polishing wheel dedicated to uh, brass and I use Tripoli compound for polishing which gives a quick hard um, shiny finish. because if this edge catches, it'll take it and throw it. It's really dangerous. So I turn it around and to the other side. Wipe off any of the black residue, polishing compound. Not to worry about the back. You can see how shiny that is now. So now to change gloves. I change gloves a lot in this project. Need to flatten out the edge, and as you can see, it's curved, and in, it's going on a flat surface. So I need to flatten that just that bottom edge out.
which means you get a little bit of solder going on it because it makes it faster. It's already hot and I'm using a medium heat solder. 6040. I like to get a little, pretty good little mound of solder on there. Let that cool off a little bit. And I'll apply a little bit of solder to the area it's going, and I think I'm going to put it right there. So I'm gonna take a little bit of sandpaper the area it's going on to because it's all oxidized from the fire, from the fire treatment. And then I'm going to put a little bit of flux on it. So now we're going to now that it's cooled down we're going to put a little bit of flux a little bit of flex where it's going. And I'm going to hold it in place. My pliers. And I'm using mostly a, tor a pen torch, pencil torch, so I, I can uh, precisely direct the heat to the area just that I want to solder. You have to heat up both pieces at the same time in order for the solder to flow and stick to both pieces. We already know it's sticking to the brass. Now I need it to stick to the copper. Part of the problem right here is that there's a piece of steel behind this copper and it acts as a heat sink. I don't see any flex bumbling up. It is usually a pretty good sign. But it is stuck. Ah, I think it's stuck. Yay! Wish they were all that easy.